Okay, so I'm back with the Sublime series and in this episode we are going to learn about the key bindings. Okay, so with that, I'm your host Sartak and welcome back to Bitfumes. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and Laravel related things. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So let's start this video and you can see I have many divs here, but all are not indented. What I have to do? I have to select this, press tab, then select this, press tab, and lots of stuff. I don't want to do these things, so I will just undo. And what I will do, I will just press Ctrl A. I will go to Edit and Line. And you can see we have re indent and it properly re indented our code. But the problem is i have to go to edit i have to go to line then reindent lots of steps i don't want these things instead of this if i have a shortcut keyboard shortcut isn't it cool if i press ctrl shift and r maybe this will reindent our code so let's undo this and now create a key binding so what i will do i will go to preferences key binding and this will open a new window or so here we can define a new key combination as I have defined already so let's see I will create a new I will say keys so what are the combination of the keys so it will be just like this so it will be control plus shift plus r okay so it's fine for now and command what are the command so command will be re indent so we can verify the command from going here to here re indent so let's see save this file close this file and select control a control shift and r and you can see it re-indented our code that's very nice thing okay so let's do one thing more and here i want to say let's suppose i want to say this is a sublime series and no i don't want to do like this i want every single word will be capitalized like a title case okay so for that I have to do all these things but but we have a command here so what we have to do we have to select go to edit and convert case title case and you can see it's doing the same thing but obviously we want a key combination for this so now undo go to preferences key binding maximize create a new key binding so here i will say keys key combination is let's say control plus shift plus um, because we want to convert case let's say c and let's oh, i don't want to purchase now so let's see first whether we are having any key combination control shift c no we don't have anything for here so it's fine to use it now the command will be command will be obviously we want command let's say here convert case title case okay so we want title case very nice go to sublime again and select this and we are expecting to be changed to title case okay so let's press ctrl shift and c and it's doing nothing what's the problem the problem is with this command actually this is not the actual command so how will we know what is the actual command for the title case for that i will suggest you to go to views show console and inside here 
you will type sublime dot log underscore commands and here let's say true and hit enter and now let's see when I click you can see it's just saying command drag select event that means it just giving you every command you are doing if I am selecting anything you can see it's just saying every command we are doing so let's just do that command that means convert case title case and now you can see the command name is actually actually title case not the title space case so let's just change it to title underscore case save file and now go here select this line press ctrl shift and c and you can see now our command is working so obviously i don't want this console here so again i will say sublime dot log underscore commands or false here and it's doing nothing so just press escape to go out from it and it's fine for now and now the next and the final thing is that we have learned about the macro in the last episode so we will just going to connect the macro here so we have a macro we will go to tools macro user and test so here is our macro but I want a key combination for it so obviously we have to go to project oops not project preferences key binding and maximize it and create a new key binding similarly so key and column the key the keys combination will be uh, double quotes control so control plus shift plus m m for macro it's fine now command will be now again I don't know the command exact command name so let's go again and open console I should have to open it console dot log underscore command true and it's giving error because it's uh, commands okay now it's fine now I have to go to preferences no tools macro user now press test and you can see we have this macro but we have this file run macro file and the whole thing so I will just copy it and not this thing I have to just copy the command so control C copy and command will be the same thing we have just copied paste it here but you can see here there is some error why because the command is only run macro file but after that command we have to give an argument so we will say obviously inside double quotes args so a r g s args and the file name is this so let's delete this closing of double quote now save this file and go here again close this console so I have pressed up key to get the previous command and then false escape now after this control shift and M and you can see we have our macro here so if you want to have a macro create it from tools record macro save that macro and then create a key combination for the macro and it's very nice thing to do so we will meet in the next episode obviously with some cool tricks and packages of the sublime so don't forget to subscribe and we will meet in the next episode till then if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me and follow bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye